So then we come to the technology of play pumps, roundabout play pumps. And the first thing you have to catch, and you will see some wonderful imagery about this, but the first thing to catch is that it's so hummingbird. It's, we all grew up, I'll tell you, my daughter, now in her 30s, when she was 11 years old, I was standing with my back to her in the kitchen in London, and I heard her say to a house guest, well, I think that I've been born into a time that will become known as another dark ages in human history, but that I will live to see one of the most beautiful. She was 11 years old, and I felt the chills on the back of my neck, and I was standing in the kitchen, and I thought, I will live to see that day too. We came through an era where we were taught the law of gravity, and Hummingbird is teaching the law of levity. I, both my mother and my father, grew in a Scottish cottage with no running water. My mother is in her 80s. It's one of her most vivid memories, how cold the water was in the winter and how they had to haul it up from the burn. That's one of her stories. So the play pump called to us because of the levity piece. And it's a very important piece. It's like in these dire and beautiful times, what are the things that will allow us to lift, 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 lift the spirit? So it's to do with heart coherence, it's to do with emotional intelligence, and how the Hummingbird Council chooses who they partner with, it's to do with levity. That's the guiding principle. And I have one more thing to share with you before we watch the play pump video, which I promise 